All right, we rolling? rolling. Not a podcast playing that Nipsey Hustle. Shout out to Nipsey Hustle, man. R.I.P. Yeah. Great so man. Gave back to his community, man. Beautiful story for his life. And uh, crazy, man. That's all I got to say. But uh, not a podcast. How y'all doing, man? Gabe, you good? Mary, you good? Let me let the Nipsey Hustle play a little bit, you know? One of my favorite songs from him, Face the World, from his uh, Crenshaw mixtape. I thought this was a mixtape, but it's actually an album on Apple Music right now. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover today, man. Shout out to Big Boy Johnny. Last time you guys really liked the song that I played for you guys at the beginning. Um, a lot of people had a lot of good feedback, so I think we should give the man himself a call right now and, you know, just chop it up with him, see what he thinks. You know, maybe he'll uh, give some uh, leaked news about his new music or something. So, uh, Gabe, do you want to give him a call? All right, let's do it. What a do, man. Hey, 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 what's you up? You live what's right up? now on the podcast. Hey, what's up, podcast? Hey, y'all was showing me some love, man, on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just talking about that, how we uh, showed your song last time. A lot of people yeah. show love, man. You got anything to say about, you know, your music coming out? You know, everybody's seen you on Hype Talk, right? They just think yeah. you're the anti-Hype Beast, big boy Uncle Johnny. But you got to let them know. Let them know what you do, you man. Know, I, I like to consider myself a flexible creative. You know okay, I mean? flexible, creative, you not know, physically I, I though, not physically, <laughs> flexible, know, and, you know. <laughs> I, I, I get my yoga on too though. Oh, okay. On, but you know, I, I, I've been working, you know, the culinary side, so y'all see me with the food truck. So I want to, you know, just keep following my passions while we have these tools and resources. So I'm just trying to make some feel good music. You know, feel so good music. I like that. I like that. A lot of people yeah. were like, man, this kind of got like that. Uh, They were saying a little bit of Bryson Tiller when he uh, sings. Um, who would you compare your singing style with? Hey, man, it's hard to say, but there's a lot of influences from it, from like Trey songs to like, uh, you know, Chris Brown to okay. you know, Bryson, like they said, and Luther, even old school, like Luther all the guys with no hair, all the guys with no <laughs> hair. <laughs> Oh, you gonna play me like that? No, I mean, look at look. You didn't you didn't pick Lil Pump. You know he got a whole head of dreads. You didn't pick hey, him. Look, you know you picked the guys look, with. Man, we, we bring him ball back, baby. Okay, you bring him ball back. All right, and then uh, I know you're busy, man. Can uh, before you get out of here, I got one other thing. All right. Yeah. In this episode, I'm gonna uh, actually gonna be responding to people's assumptions about me, right? But I included one with you in it. So okay. I, I so I gotta I gotta read it and you gotta let me know, man. I can't speak for you, you know what I mean? So the assumption is, this is from Pedro. He said, you know damn well Johnny wanna choke out Tan and Richie after the episode. <laughs> you know, if it was like that every single time, these guys would be dead already. These guys would be, <laughs> they would be dead already if that's the case. You know, the, the cool thing about our friendship, man, is that we, we, we know our limits and we, we know you know what, what we really do cool. but we kind of yeah. don't 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 act like there's not been some times where you get a little salty though but you know it ain't really <laughs> it, it ain't as much as you it's i would say uh tan tan be pushing the limit more than you do oh yeah yeah tan will he gives you the most obvious jabs you know if i'm gonna jab at you i want it to be you know like a little bit creative you know what i mean gabe yeah 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 clever but Tans is just like straightforward. Well, I gotta talk to Tan about that. You, you need to ask Tan how he feel about it, man. Cause you know I got my big boy gang. You know they've been on his head too. So they have been. I think he out. gets some uh, messages. You know what I mean? But you know, shout out to Pedro, man. It's all love, baby. At the end of the day. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Johnny, any last words before you get out of here? Man, I just appreciate all the love and support from you guys. You know, from the food truck to even just embracing the music coming out. And I didn't even get to drop a real track. Y'all heard the snippet, so I'm excited to see you guys' feedback and. Uh, Big boy Johnny, man, checking out. All right, for sure, man. All right, thanks for the call. We'll uh, catch up with you next time. All right. All right, peace. All right, guys, you guys heard it from uh, big boy Johnny himself. Oh, man, I forgot about the pad. Hold up, the pad. What are we calling this? Soundboard, the soundboard. I'm going to call it the maestro, you know, the, the controller. We're going to call it that, all right? We forgot the pick of the day. We forgot the pick of the day, man. The pick of the day, before we get into the assumptions about me, am I broke? We're gonna answer that, all right? We got a couple of items that I wanted to show to you guys. I know a lot of people like this uh, part of the uh, Not A Podcast, which I will uh, be recommending some items for you guys. So the first thing that we got right here, 
are the Stone Island cargos, but uh, the last episode I showed you guys the blue ones that I picked up. This color is crazy, like kind of like a uh, purplish, grayish plum. I can't even really describe it. Really unique, kind of like a neutral tone, so I really like it, man. And the material, like I said, on Stone Island, it's not the thickest, it's not the thinnest, but when you do feel it, you're gonna feel that quality. And uh, these are just clean, man. And like I said, Stone Island, the cargos, that's what you really want to get with the patch and everything. So so this right here, man, in the very first uh, podcast, it's not a podcast, in the very first episode uh, that we um, recorded for this, I was talking about the Stone Island Supreme collaboration. I wasn't really feeling it at first, I'm not going to lie, because it didn't have that Supreme branding, you know, that brand recognition that I usually like. But... I've been a huge fan lately of the wash look when it comes to any t-shirts, any uh, hoodies. I really like that wash vintage look. And it's something that's really hard to uh, replicate when it comes to new products. I'm saying like basically manufacture that vintage look. Um, but I wanted to check out Stone Island's iteration of it and see how they did. They try to give like more of like a, uh, a really like worn 20 year old vintage feel with their t-shirts. So I bought one off of StockX and uh, Let's, let's check it out right now. From the latest Supreme Stone Island collaboration, I got the t-shirt. Whoa, I was not expecting this actually. So when I, I thought it was gonna be kind of like the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, more of like that faded look, but it's not, it's not that. Wow, when I say Stone Island is on some other stuff when it comes to their dyed products, they're really on some other stuff. In the photos, it looks kind of like a, uh, a wash look, but it's not even that, would you say? It's kind of like a green with purple. I'm kind of digging it. It's not, it's not like too crazy, you know what I mean? If I think if the green stood out more, it would look a little bit too, the contrast would be too crazy, but it blends in pretty well. It's unique. What do you guys think about this, man? The Stone Island Supreme, I can't even call it the wash tees, but the uh, garment dye tees right here. All right, so uh, we got the t-shirt, Stone Island pickup right here. Not a bad uh, purchase. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, what it looks like. Alright guys, so right now we are going to be getting into the assumptions about me. This is something that's kind of going on on YouTube right now, where the YouTubers are actually responding to assumptions made in the comments. And uh, I got four right here. We're going to do a hot takes format. Only one minute each. Right Gabe? One minute each, you got the uh, timer. All right, so the first assumption, assumption. You know damn well Richie don't keep those clothes he's wearing broke ass. So they're basically talking about like the outfit challenges and everything. Listen, am I broke? I'm not rich, not broke, comfortable, I'm <laughs> comfortable. But uh, you know, some clothing I do uh, definitely return. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, you know, keeping everything, but the pieces I do really, really like from the outfit challenges, I'm keeping them, but I mean, who's gonna keep everything? You know what I mean? I can't keep everything. Like, I, if I kept everything, I'd have a whole closet full of Target gear. You know, I'm not trying to rock Target 24 seven, but uh, so I guess that assumption is uh, somewhat true, somewhat true. Some of them I, <laughs> Gabe knows I hand them down because uh, you received some of them. All right, next assumption. Shots fired at Kai since he just started a podcast and you named this yours. So they're talking about how we named our uh, podcast, but it's not a podcast. They're talking about how we named it not a podcast. And then uh, Kai just started his pod. You're reaching. You know the term you're reaching. You're reaching over here, man. Come on. Shout out to Kai, man. Great podcast that he's doing right now. Um, just because I named mine not a podcast doesn't mean I'm trying to go against anybody with a podcast. If that was the case, I'd be going against to hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there because I named mine not a podcast. Ours is not a podcast because it's not a podcast. I can't put us in a box. All right. So, uh, yeah, you're reaching. Whoever uh, left that one, you're reaching. Next one up, uh, we got from Alejandro Lopez, man. This one's crazy. Yo, Richie, really 4'11"? Was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm not 4'11", though. With some forces? Don't make me come through in the club with the forces? Good. 5'5". Five, five. With the forces and the hair up. They don't want to see me in the club with the forces on or the Tims on. When I put the Tims on, the ladies can't even stay off me for the night. That's how crazy it gets. You know, the guy's like... Yo, who's, who's big dude coming through, you know, with the Tims? Also, speaking of being short, man, uh, recently I bought some uh, pants from Top Man, man. Shout out to Top Man. 
They got pants right now. 32 waist, you know, 31 waist. But they got 31 waist regular, 31 waist short, and then they got 31 waist extra short. And I tried them all on, and I, I gotta say I went with the extra short. No shame, you don't gotta spend the extra $20 to get it. Hen man, uh, shout out to Top Man for looking out for us. You know, at first I was like, as a man, can I accept wearing these extra shorts? I said, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Alejandro, man. That was a very random comment, but uh, a good one. Uh, last one. The assumption is that I lied to them. One episode in and the show is canceled. You lied to us. So this uh, comment was left on the Complex um, show that we did for um, anything for the hype. We only did one episode because that episode was kind of like a feeler um pilot episode i did tell my audience on instagram and everything that we're gonna be doing a whole season i have not lied to you guys man it's just been delayed a little bit but we are still gonna be filming the entire season on complex this spring summer all right it's coming i wouldn't lie to you guys man one episode it was just a pilot but this is something i'm super excited about it's been in the works for a very long time but complex anything for the hype look out for it, man if you guys could show me a little bit of love Go on Complex's uh, Instagram on the photos, man. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Let them know anything for the hype needs to happen ASAP, all right? We're trying to make it happen, but some logistic things are getting in the way. But, man, anything for the hype coming very soon, all right? I'm super excited about it. One minute. All right, that's pretty much it for the assumptions. You know, I didn't want to get too crazy, too in-depth with it. Some fun ones, you know. But that's pretty much it for the uh, Not A Podcast today. I just wanted to, you know, respond to some assumptions. This is something that I saw on YouTube and a lot of people are doing right now. One last thing, man. Something that's kind of been on my mind lately is, you know, guys, you guys know how I've, um, pretty, I'm pretty mindful of things keeping their value as far as sneakers and clothing goes. Um, if there are any car guys out there, I want to talk cars, man. I have not talked cars in a while on my channel. You know, I had the M4, the M Feezy. I sold it. Then I brought the uh, Grand Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I used to have an E46 M3 as well. But anyways, I been kind of considering getting a GT4. Um, I know the new one's coming out, but I've been kind of considering a GT4 because one, I love obviously the performance and everything, but two, the value that they hold is crazy. I don't like buying things that depreciate in value. Obviously the M4, that depreciated like crazy. The GT4 actually stays at its retail price, pretty much, because they're obviously pretty rare, low production. Let me know what you guys think, man. I just wanted to throw it out there. If you guys are familiar with cars, let me know what you guys think of the GT4 as a purchase. Um, I drove one the other day. They are not lying when they say it's one of the funnest cars out on the market right now. It's crazy. Um, I was even talking to Harrison Neville through text and we we're talking about cars and everything. And uh, I think he just had the uh, GTR. He just picked up a GTR and uh, we're just talking about, you know, cars and their value and everything. It's crazy, man. Cars usually aren't seen as a uh, smart purchase, but you know, if I'm going to pick up a uh, sports car, I'm going to try to make it a smart purchase as much as possible. You know what I mean? But that's pretty much it for the uh, podcast today. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of not a podcast, man. Uh, shout out to everybody supporting lately. We got a lot of dope content coming up. Shout out to everybody who responded about us going to Shanghai um, next month. We are going to be out there for sneaker con. Is there any other sneaker cons that we should hit up? Let me know. I don't even know the uh, locations right now that they're going to be going to, but I'm down to go to some sneaker cons. That's pretty much it, man. Let me know about the GT4. Shout out to Johnny for, uh, you know, the phone call and everything. And until next time, I'm out, guys. Peace. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out that episode. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think of today's episode. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, we're going to be answering your questions in the next episode. Um, also, we are going to be still opening up the giveaway last time we said let us know when you have subscribed to the channel a lot of people responded we are still going to be taking giveaway submissions so uh let me know down in the comments below when you guys subscribe to the channel and what was your favorite memory and we're going to be picking out winners from the comments um, but that's pretty much it i'm out of here peace